Hi guys, welcome back to another monthly favorites. Uh, this is a little combination of December and January because we didn't do December favorites, we did more of a roundup of our top five each um, favorite discoveries of 2014. So this is quite a big one. So mm -hmm. maybe make a cup of tea and come back, get ready. So here we go. Okay, uh, I'll go first, shall I? Mm -hmm. Right, so in the video Camilla just mentioned our favorite beauty discoveries of 2014, which we'll link below, um, I talked about the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief Moisturizer, which I love. I remember that. Yeah, it takes some practice. Um, it's a water-based gel moisturizer, really, really good for dehydrated skin, but it's over 500 rand a pot. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've been on the hunt for a drugstore alternative, and I'm happy to say that I've found one. It is called the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Now, it's almost the identical texture. Um, I can't really say whether the formulas are the same, but it certainly does that same thing to my skin that makes my skin really plump. Um, it just feels much more juicy. I'm not breaking out as much. I have less inflammation in the areas where I'm normally the, sort of most dehydrated. Works like a dream. Problem is, at the moment it's only available in Australia and New Zealand. Um, I know that it's just launched in Canada and I saw it advertised in the latest Allure magazine which means it's definitely making its way to the States which means hopefully mm. it'll either come here or at least go to the UK where I can get a hold of it. So um, I really really like it, I think it's brilliant and it's Neutrogena so it's bound to be cheap. A friend of mine bought it for me from Oz so I don't actually know how much it was but um, I'm thrilled with it so if I can get my hands on that in the next few months when it runs out then I'll be very happy. Sticking on that vein with moisturizers, I wrote about this um, a little while ago. This is the Rodial SPF 15 Stem Cell Superfood Day Cream. Um, I've never tried any skincare from Rodial before, so I was interested to give this a try. It's certainly not on the cheap side. It's quite pricey. I think it's upwards of 700 Rand. So um, it's basically for dehydrated skin. It's a concoction of all kinds of marvelous things that instantly hydrate and um, inject some moisture into your face. And it does just that. It's also actually got color correction technology. So when you apply it, it has an ever so slight kind of correction it evens out the skin tone a little bit and to be honest I didn't wear a lot of makeup on holiday and I think it was down to this because it gives just enough um Good tint yeah well like not even it just kind of like makes everything look a little bit better so I'm kind of fine with that it does have a SPF 15 it smells quite sunscreeny which I really like you can see it's very white and um looks a lot like but it's thick and mm -hmm. delicious yeah just like a sun cream <laughs> yeah which I love, and it, it, it makes your makeup go on really nicely afterwards if you do want to put makeup on. In the vein of products for dehydrated skin, um, this was in my beauty haul that I did with Tori when we spoke about the things we bought in London at the end of last year. This is the Vichy Aqualia Thermal Serum, and it is uh, their dehydrated skin serum. It's really good, it's relatively cheap, especially for um, you know a serum, because they can be very, very pricey. I think this was... 14 or 16 pounds um, this range is available here but not this product for some odd reason don't get me started but it's really really good it's very lightweight I put it on under my moisturizer it sinks in completely and just gives me a little bit of extra um, hydration through the day so I'm about we're about a third left of this so I'm gonna have to pick up a new one soon um, but it's probably the f it's gonna be the first serum I've ever repurchased which I think says a lot hmm. so I'm very happy with that very nice um, my next one is the Clarins Tonic Body Balm, which is, it might be a big call, but I think it's one of my favorite products of all time. Is it better just for the smell. than just the smell. Creme de Cor? I see now, you just smell something because you're holding it. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I can, I do prefer it. Spillage. It, um, it absorbs really quickly. It smells absolutely Much delicious. Much lighter than Creme de Cor. Yeah, and, um... I don't know if you can see, but I'm kind of... There's Such only, a Clarence mark. Yeah, there's mm. only like this much left. And I was speaking to Pippa, the PR who um, deals with Clarence, and she was saying she mixes in the tonic body oil with it as well, which I tried and it was, oh, it was so good. Um, it just leaves your skin really soft and supple and it smells delicious. I mean, mm. I love it 90% because of the way it smells. It's just no, it's very outstanding. Nice. Really um, my right. mom got it for me for Christmas. I wasn't expecting it at all. And I'd never heard of this product before. Mm -mm. Um, so I'm thrilled with it. I'm going to be devastated when it's finished because I can't justify spending 430 Rand on a moisturizer for myself. Yeah. I've already put it on my birthday wish list. So <laughs> very happy with this. Uh, the next thing I've got is a red lipstick. I wore this the whole way through December. It is from the new L'Oreal um, Exclusives Collection and it's based on 
different shades of red that suit the skin tones of their spokesmodels. So this one is called Julianne's Red, as in Julianne Moore. And it is a really luscious, bright, slightly pinky red. It's so flattering. It's really wearable. It's, it's very matte as well, which is great, which makes it super long lasting. I wear um, MAC cherry lip pencil underneath and it works like a dream beautiful color match and i fill in my whole lip with a lip pencil and go over over with this and i never it never wears away to the point where you can actually see skin i just kind of top up a few times out of kind of mm. paranoia more than anything but it's so comfortable it's much more comfortable to wear than mac ruby woo and it's a very similar color um and like i said the whole range suits different skin tones so i've got another one called frida's red which is obviously Frida Pinto um, which is much more of a pink red and it's gorgeous so mm. I can highly highly recommend those they are awesome and I think better than the MAC matte mm. formulas. This next favorite of mine is the one I've got on my nails at the moment this is just the Revlon nail what do they call it? Just nail enamel. Yeah it's nail enamel and the color 640 fearless it's just a really nice kind of punchy corally orange perfect for summer I love the formulation I've had this in my fridge for about two years and the formulation is still 100%. I'm super impressed. I keep all my nail polishes in the fridge and I mm. very, very rarely have to throw them away. Mm. This is, um, I'm just surprised it hasn't separated. It hasn't, yeah. the formula hasn't No, it's good. Kind of it's a really underrated formula. Yeah, actually. and it's just super glossy. It wears really well. I get a good five, six days with no chips. And yeah, very happy with that. I think I want to get, what's the other one? Revlon Red. Revlon Red's yeah. great. Yeah. Classic, classic gonna, red. Like a nail pillar wash. box. Yeah. yeah, so I'll be getting that one next. Uh, Cool. Yeah. Next up for me is this Lancome mascara, which is called Grandiose. Um, this was came out towards the end of last year and was hyped to the max. So when we finally got our hands on it, we were kind of excited, but can you know a little bit nervous. You never really know with this stuff. Um, it's a little bit gimmicky because it's got this slightly bizarre what they call a swan neck yeah. um, wand. The logic behind it is that it makes it easier to apply the mascara and so you don't um, end up getting the wand on your skin over here or kind of getting it on your eyelids. In that respect, it works like a dream. Camilla tried it initially and it actually irritated her eyes, so that's when I got hold of it. Mm. And I initially didn't like it because it was still quite wet. However, after a couple of weeks when it dried out... It's always, they always been on the dry out. Obsessed. It make, like, it's not necessary in everyday mm. mascara. It does... like it maximizes the lashes it's mm. seriously volumizing it, especially for smoky eyes it's amazing um so i tend to wear it at night or like i said when i'm wearing a smoky eye and i think it's brilliant and it's you know what it's a lovely gift it is a really nice it's gift. a beautiful thing to give someone so mm. i love that i'm really really happy with that mascara. i don't know what about it made my eyes i've never had a, yeah. a mascara give me a reaction before so i don't know what it was about that one but it's i'm bummed because yeah. i really did like it i thought it was a great mascara mm. next is a blusher this is the Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge in the color Calypso Coral, another kind of punchy coral um, summer color. You can see it's kind of a trend for me right now. Um, the reason this um, cream blush stands apart from the other cream blushes that I use is that it has excellent staying power. Um, cream blushes on me don't last very long unless I set them with a powder blush of a similar color. They just don't, they don't stay put. But this one does and it's super pigmented so you only need a teeny tiny bit but you can also build it up to more of like a full flush if you wanted to. And yeah, you can wear it on your lips, although I find it a bit drying, so I, I tend not to. But it's a great little multitasker. Very happy. Pretty. Mm. This is my next favorite. These are the Kevin O'Quan eyelash curlers, and this was my Christmas gift from Camilla. Um, I previously used the Shiumara eyelash, eyelash curlers, which were very nice. But um, I've had them for years and years and years, and the rubber insert here has worn through, so they just don't work as well anymore. Um, sadly, you can't buy the insert separately anymore, which you used to be able so to do, rude. which is just irritating. Mm -hmm. So um, I'd read, I think either an InStyle or Allure last year awarded these eyelash curlers the award for the best ones, which mm -hmm. Shinomara used to get. So And they're kind of, I don't know, two pounds cheaper, so I thought I'd give them a try, so I asked Camilla for these and I love them they're really nice mm -hmm. I find that they give a more even round curl whereas I found the shoemaker ones if you weren't careful yeah, they like be very dent. like right yeah. angled yeah. um you know you have to kind of like work your the, the curlers on the lashes which I don't really mm -hmm. have to do with these and yeah a nice sturdy rubber comes with the spare one mm. um yeah they're great I love them yeah they're really nice my next one will go on with Christmas presents Julia got this for me for Christmas and it's the Tom Ford cream color for eyes in the color platinum it is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. It really is. It's just 
the perfect gold cream soft subtle eyeshadow and it takes about three seconds to apply and you blend it out with a fluffy brush and then it just it sets it stays put it looks stunning and um, I actually have the other um, one in this collection called Spice and I've had that for a couple of years and I wasn't that impressed with the formulation of that one and I think they've definitely reworked it over the years because this is sensational and um, yeah it looks beautiful I usually wear it I've actually well we've actually filmed the tutorial which you'll see a bit later where I use this so you can see it in action but I apply this I tight line put on some mascara and I'm good to go you don't need anything mm. else it is just stunning Sadly, you won't be able to ever get your hands on it. No. I think Julia got the last one that they ever yeah, made. Yeah, I missioned all over the show, eventually yeah. found it duty-free after mm -hmm. trying to get hold of it in London. Um, mm -hmm. It was part of a limited edition collection, but I'm sure they'll re-promote it because mm -hmm. people went wild for the colour. Yeah. So um, just keep a lookout around Christmas. That time of year you'll see if, if they mm -hmm. come out again. Beautiful. Thank you. Pleasure. Um, speaking of which, mm -hmm. I picked myself up the bargain version of that. Um, I forgot to put this in my haul with Tori. This is the Max Factor Excess Shimmer Cream Eyeshadow, and this is the shade Copper. It's not even remotely coppery. It, in fact, is a lot closer to the color of that Tom Ford shadow. So it's kind of a metallic taupe, really wearable. It's got a lovely souffle like texture, so it's very, very light, and it's kind of cooling when you put it on. I just put it on with my fingers and yeah, blend out the edges either with a dry finger or um, a fluffy brush. Um, I find that it's not the world's most long wearing cream eyeshadow. I do have to put a primer under it and sometimes set it with um, an eyeshadow. I do love the color though so I put up with that to be honest and it's cheap so it's not, you know if that was if the Tom Ford one but that would be annoyed. Um, the color that I have worn most over it is from Wet n Wild. I've never spoken about Wet n Wild these single eyeshadows before, yeah, but this I've color. had this for ages. In fact, it might be one of the only eyeshadows I've ever owned that I've hit pan on. It's called Natty. Looks like that. And it's kind of the eyeshadow equivalent, maybe slightly darker of that cream eyeshadow. How much are these? I think they're like 30 or 40 bucks or something. Yeah. It's insane. So buttery, so yeah. smooth, blend out like a dream. They come in all primer. sorts of great colours. Mm -hmm. They are awesome. Yeah. I think you should get, you get the clicks. Yep. Um, my next one is a hair product and it's the Kevin Murphy Motion Lotion. This is a sample size which we received in the test box that we were sent towards the end of last year. Um, I've tried, my hair is naturally curly. I've curled it now but I wish this was my natural curl. <laughs> it is not. Um, my natural curl is very frizzy, very tight underneath with kind of looser waves on the top. It's, there's no uniformity, it's, it's a bit of a mess. So I tend not to wear my hair curly unless I'm on holiday and I really can't be bothered. I think you can count on your hand the number of times you've seen my hair curly. Not a lot. Yeah. So I was interested to try this and I'm pleased to say it works so well because it doesn't coat your hair in that kind of, either it's greasy or it's crunchy or it's sticky or there's usually, there's always something wrong with curl lotions, the ones that I've tried. And this one isn't, it's completely weightless. It doesn't drag your hair down. It doesn't leave you with like this, vibe, you know, like when your hair is like Ooh. this. Um, nice. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with this. And when it runs out, I will definitely be buying the full size version. Um, Do you need a lot? No, no, a tiny bit. This will last say, me ages. I mean, you've had that for, for like a couple of months now. Yeah, so this will last finished. me a long time. Um, so we'll put a link to the test box down below where you can buy some of this if you are so inclined. Okay, my last favourite is something that again was from my UK haul, sorry. Um, these are my Zoeva makeup brushes. So what I've got here is the Luxury Rose Gold set and then two individual brushes, the Lux Highlight and the Lux Cheek Finish brush. Um, I really love them. I ordered them from the website, which is in Germany, and they deliver to various countries. I think they might deliver here. Just be they careful of the custom charges. Mm. Um, they're much more affordable than MAC. They are a gazillion times softer than MAC, as far as I'm concerned. I also really like the shapes of the brushes. They're just a little bit more, I want to say modern. Just, you know, things like this cheap brush. This looks identical to, shape, yeah. to a Tom Ford brush that I've been mm. lusting after for years. Um, and the, my favorite ones, I think, are the highlight brush, which just somehow deposits the perfect amount of highlight onto your cheekbones. Um, and I love the blush brush. I just love mm. this little angled shape, and it's just beautiful. There. And, you know, the foundation brush is also lovely. Even this angled brush is top quality, really, really razor sharp edge, makes, you know, really nice thin um, eyeliner. So I just think these are great. I love them. They're such good value, and I could highly, highly recommend them. They're awesome. My last one, and this is a bit of a late entry because we only got it last week, but it is a superb product. It is the Shoal Velvet Smooth Electronic Foot File, which is an electronic foot file. Um, so it, 
you, what I like about it is that it's super easy and super convenient. You don't work up a sweat while you're filing away all the dead skin on your feet. I think it would be particularly good actually for pregnant women because I know they have, you would have difficulty reaching your feet. Mm, that's true. So this is kind of quick and easy. Shall I try and show you? Mm. Do it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, it switches off automatically if you apply too much pressure, so you won't hurt yourself. Obviously no sharp edges, and this retails for $3.99, and it's going to be available in February. So it's going to be available very soon, and it's just, it's great. Like, it gives you the results that you would get if you'd really spent hours kind of filing your feet diligently. Which I certainly don't yeah. have. Good product for lazy girls. Good product. So yeah, yeah. that's it. Very cool. That's okay, fun. that was two months worth of favorites. Sorry for sure. a little bit long. <laughs> um, tell us what you've been enjoying, and we'll mm. see you at the end of Feb. Yeah. See you then. Okay. Bye. Bye.